Traveling the world with my wife hasn't slowed my love for doing guy stuff. And the one place that I always feel connected to my manhood is in a barber chair. Because I'm getting haircuts, beard trims, and neck shaves in unique places, I wanted to share the experiences with others that appreciate the craft of barbers around the world. Don't worry, I'll show you other cool cultural stuff along the way. These are my world barbershop adventures. Hanoi Old Quarter. I'm gonna get my beard tightened, my hair cut, but also um, I'm gonna design a, a, a barber tattoo, a design for uh, representing Vietnam football, Vietnam the country. I love this country. I love my time here, but uh, since we're here today, there's a massive football game going on tonight. I want my hair to, to match the, the excitement of the country, and uh, so that's what I'm gonna do today. We found these guys here in uh, the old quarter, and they're amazing barbers. Looking forward to having this treatment. Some like whatever he wants, but, okay. but Vietnam is far. Something that has to do with Vietnam. Something about Vietnam? Yeah, okay. for the football game. Yeah. 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 This was my third trip to Vietnam and is without a doubt one of my favorite countries. Hanoi is the country's capital and has a population of about 8 million people. The Old Quarter is the heart of culture within Hanoi and a great place to explore the narrow streets to find unique shops and unforgettable food. I am likely mispronouncing the name because the Vietnamese language is very difficult, but Duong Barbershop was almost hidden within the old quarter. Barbershops are also called Cat Tok Nam in Vietnam. 
You will see the signs everywhere as you walk the streets. The Vietnamese men keep their hair tight and clean on a regular basis. There always seems to be activity in the barber shops and there are street barbers working as well. This team with Duong, the owner, was very welcoming. Phi Duong, also a great barber, was very helpful in setting up the appointment with Tong Lin, who is their in-shop hair tattoo designer. The entire team is very humble and has limited social media presence. They seem to be focused on the craft of barbering and less about the spotlight that comes with it. It was not uncomfortable with the clippers and scissors or blade while getting the design carved, but I definitely could feel it. It was my first time getting this type of hair design, so I really didn't know what to expect. All I knew was it would grow back regardless of the outcome. Check out the helmet on the table in the back. They say there are over 6 million scooters and motorbikes in Hanoi. Can you imagine? You can feel the hustle and energy on the streets as they weave in and out all day. It can be scary crossing the street at times, so you always need to be checking your surroundings. I think it's a great symbol of the hustle of the country. The growth and prosperity in Vietnam in recent years has been phenomenal. Vietnam has a bright future. I have a whole new respect for tattoo barbering. It looks easy on social media, but sitting in the chair watching him work the blade, I walked away understanding that it's extremely difficult, probably even more so with my type of hair. With all the skills you need to have as a barber, to add one more tool to the belt is very impressive. See those tiny stools in the back? You will see them everywhere in Vietnam for eating a meal, drinking a coffee, or just people resting. For my 6'6 frame, the locals thought it was pretty funny every time I would sit down.
This is Ninh Binh, just 100 kilometers south of Hanoi, a short day trip away that took us to an amazing rural landscape with beautiful views. It was a great getaway before the build up to the huge Vietnam football game. is Hanoi and that crazy celebration. What'd you think about the hair tattoo? Please comment down below. And if you liked the video, please thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos of me and barbershops around the world.